Hey guys, I thought I'd wire up my um, 24 volt uh, variable speed motor that I had for my other homemade case annealer which has now got a 12 volt motor and 60 rpm revolution this one's a variable speed although the motor is a bit stuffed um, but it's still working, I just gotta help it um, just wired it up now so I'll just give it a go I made the shaft up last night. It's just a 8mm pilot shaft with a grub screw. Just a grub screw holding onto the shaft. 8mm and it goes to a M10 by 1.5mm thread bolt. It's about half an inch deep. I'm going to use just a basic tin. I'm going to drill out the center. This is only a hundred mil, although the the guy that built the original one he used 125 mil, but I haven't got any spare coffee tins or Milo tins around. So I'm just going to use this for now, which is a hundred mil, but being variable speed, I might be able to make up for it. So I'll just flick it on now. As you can see the motors are stuffed, so I've got to give it a help and go. And then I turn the dial down. Motor doesn't sound the best, but it will do the job. It's just a basic turn pot connected up to a transformer and plugged into mains, 24 volt motor. You know, you're probably looking at about 80 bucks maybe cheaper on eBay these motors here you can pick up cheap for about 15 to 20 dollars depending on where you get it from and how long you want to wait these I got for free the timber I'm going to use to build the frame is free everything else is free so this build cost for me is practically nothing because I've already had all the stuff here but that's a little update for you as you can see variable speed I just got to give it a helping hand because the motor's a bit stuffed. But um, there you go. Hopefully I'll have this built by the weekend. And then have another video for you guys. Right. Skippy out.